and violence and other kind of violence. News this morning out of Clark County, where police say one man is dead after a shootout between roommates in Yakult. The Clark County Sheriff's Office says they were called to the scene by a man who said he had shot his roommate. Foxwell's Marilyn Deutsch is on the scene for us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, and as you can probably see, we're in a very rural part of Clark County, northern Clark County. We're actually on Northeast Kelly Road uh, near the intersection of with Northeast Yakult Mountain Road. And the shooting happened just down the road here, uh, then down the end at the end of a long private driveway. Deputies tell us they were called to this home at 7 o'clock last night after the roommate called 911 and self-reported the deadly shooting. Deputies tell us the roommate has not been arrested, but he has been detained. He is cooperating with deputies. They have not said anything about a possible motive in this case, only that there had been some kind of altercation between the two men. Uh, both men, they say, drew firearms and both allegedly exchanged gunfire. Medics arrived and confirmed the other roommate was dead and that he had wounds consistent with gunfire. An autopsy is being conducted and the man's name will be released once next of kin are notified. Now this investigation is being conducted as uh, part of the sheriff's major crimes unit, which by the way is still on the scene of uh, 12 hours after the fact. Again, the roommate who says he shot his fellow roommate has been detained. He has not been arrested. Deputies tell us that the public is not in any danger. They do not believe there are any other suspects out here. Live in Northern Clark County, Maryland Deutsch, Good Day, Oregon. One man is dead after a shooting at a home in Northern Clark County. The man's roommate is now in jail. As Fox 12's Maryland Deutsch reports, that roommate is the one who called 911 to report the shooting. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. The Clark County Sheriff's Major Crimes Unit is in charge of this investigation, and the team was still on scene roughly 12 hours after the roommate was killed on this beautiful piece of secluded property. Deputies called here at 7 o'clock last night after the shooter called 911 to report he'd killed his own roommate. Deputies have not told us what the motive might have been behind the deadly shooting, only that there was some kind of fight among the two roommates. Then they say both men drew firearms and both allegedly shot at one another. Neighbor Anne Marie de Beauvair doesn't know the folks involved, but she says she doesn't like the fact that this happened or that it happened so close to where she lives. I'm not scared, but I'm scared that somebody use a gun to like that, kill somebody. If they had no gun, that would ha not happen. Yeah, you can fight, you can fight with your feet, but when you have a gun, I'm against the guns in the house because when you are uh, in, mad, it means like when you are uh, angry, you, sometimes you say already stuff that you regret, but if there is a gun, that's too bad. When medics got here, they confirmed the one roommate was dead, his wounds consistent with gunshot wounds. The Clark County Medical Examiner, however, is conducting an autopsy to determine the exact cause of death. The Clark County Sheriff's Office says deputies did detain the shooter and he is cooperating with them. He is not under arrest. Neither the name of the shooter nor the name of the man shot dead have been released. Deputies say the public is not in any danger. They are not looking for any suspects. In you call it Marilyn Deutsch, Fox 12, Oregon.
so it is what it is.